Hi, it's Jerry with I Love RV Life. I have been wanting one of these for quite some time. This is a portable refrigerator. This is the new Set Power 45 Dual Zone. I've got a lot of options that I can use this for. It's going to make RV life so much better. This is Jerry. Joan and I have been wanting a portable refrigerator for quite some time. And I see three applications for these. This one is from Set Power. It's a very, very nice unit, 45 quart dual zone. Uh, it has a refrigerator side, uh, which is about two thirds of the capacity, and the other third can, is another zone that can be set up as a freezer. Either side can be set up as either refrigerator, refrigerator total freezer you have mix match you can set it up however you want uh, right now I have it just for uh, this display today I have it set up as the large side for refrigerator the small side for freezer I see three applications for this one is for the camper tent camper or pop-up camper and you have no refrigerator this is perfect to throw in the back of your car or your truck uh, you can keep your uh, items cold or frozen if needed and if you have um, something like uh, one of the portable uh, battery power generators like you've seen me show uh, on numerous occasions. You can power this unit at 12 volts which is um, very power efficient for those devices. So that's one application. Second application I see is for the van dweller, the person who has nothing but a van, they built it out, they need a refrigerator. This is a great size for being able to stay out a couple weeks. Um, especially if you set up as a refrigerator at 45 quarts and you, when you see the inside you'll see it's very very spacious or you see the application that Joan and I'll be using yes we do have a residential refrigerator but we're gone months and months and months on end and sometimes I like to be able to buy in bulk and when you can buy in bulk um, we can use this as a refrigerator and or a ref freezer to supplement our travel when we can find good bargains when we're at a grocery store or at one of the uh, price clubs that might be out there. So that's a great application for that. Second, um, I am going to be mounting this um, down in our garage bay. We're not going to be using it here on the inside. And uh, when we're outside entertaining, as you'll see in just a few minutes with a slide out tray and so forth, um, then this is ideal for us to be able to have cookouts outside, keep our beverages cold lettuce, tomato, meats, those types of things. So it's a perfect application for that. This is a real nice unit. Uh, we had it on for just a little while. I, again, I have it plugged into AC currently. Uh, let me take you around and show you some of the features and then I'll show you some of the temp. This dual zone unit is really, really, really a nice unit. Set Power sent me two accessories that I wanted as well because I will be mounting this down in our garage uh, below the, the fifth wheel. These are also perfect if you were to have this, say, in the back of a truck, car, um, if you had something like a, an SUV and you wanted to mount it in that area, this, would be, this tray that I'm getting ready to show you would be ideal. Also, if you have the van installation or a small camper as well, this works perfect. Let me show you these two accessories. Set Power has two different slider trays uh, depending on the size of the portable refrigerator that you're getting. This one is specifically made for this 45 quart cooler. Now I will share this with you. This thing is very substantial, very heavy. Um, you can see it's got mounting screws on the bottom and of course you have them on the top as well. Um, it's very very heavy and uh, you have a latch here and ball bearing slides that will slide out and it will lock in place. Uh, very smooth. You've got several different areas where you can lock it depending on where you want it. It will go, let's see if I can get this in frame with the camera, it goes out quite a long ways and then latches. Um, but this unit is very heavy. you got a positive latch that locks it. You also notice here on the front and back we've got these slots um, and Set Power also provides us with these uh, straps with uh, heavy duty buckles. I've got several of those that I can put on here to latch the unit to the handles and um, I'm really excited about this. I thought that I was going to have to build something 
and uh, this is very very reasonable priced and uh, very very high quality so I have one other uh, accessory that I want to show you as well that they sent me uh, the other accessory that I'll be using with this portable refrigerator is this protective and insulated cover <clears throat> it's a large unit it wraps all the way around the unit um, you see it's very big at this stage but you can see that it has vents for the compressor and the handles and those types of things uh, I'll be in, I'll be adding that once I get it installed uh, down in the in the bay this insulated and protecting cover has a number of applications one I think it's going to be very high value for those who are going to be putting this uh, portable refrigerator say in the back of a um, something like a suburban putting it in a van uh, in the back you know where you have a lot of things around it uh, putting in the back seat you're gonna be stacking things around it and so forth it's gonna keep it from getting dented or scratched up even though it's a hard plastic um, I th you know still you want to take good care of it and it'll give you that extra protection but e equally to that it also has some very thick padding to it for additional insulation this has three different layers of insulation in it so it's well insulated but this gives it that extra step especially if you're going to have it in something like a car back of a car um, in, in a truck something like that you're going to need it or it's in your van and that van is going to be um, you know parked outside while you're out hiking or you know enjoying the outdoors um, that's one thing or let's say you're going to be gone for you know several hours you're going to bring it up to temp you're going to unplug it to protect your batteries um, for that period of time this insulation cover will help keep the items inside here cooler longer and I think that's important as well so I'll be taking that cover um, here and I'm going to be installing it uh, down in uh, our bay and I think that's going to be also additional protection I've got you know chairs and all kinds of things back there and I really just don't want to scar this up and mess the unit up so uh, I'm excited about uh, installing this down below that slider tray is going to absolutely be a great addition it's going to save me hours and hours of time building something and the price is very very competitive so it's worth every penny very heavy heavy duty very well built super latch nice ball bearing slides i think that's great it's going to be perfect for this unit so let's look at the temperature of the unit here i've had the door open for just a minute and you can see here i've got this side set for 41 degrees so um, it's running about 41, depending on where you're located on here, 41, 42 degrees. Now the freezer seems to be running a little bit colder than the temperature. I have it set for 10, and believe it or not, and it could be this thermometer, it's showing about a negative 23. So have no problem, this is frozen, uh, really, really frozen. You have a tray that you can pull out here uh, for your frozen items. It makes it a little easier to get to. And then you have your um, roof, refrigerator items that you have here uh, this will come out uh, and if you want to set this up as just a complete refrigerator you can do so you can set both sides to the temperature that you want it to be and this little insulated wall helps you let's look at some of the features of uh, the set power rv refrigerator so right now i currently have it off it's plugged in it's called standby mode when it's in that uh, i'm going to hit the power button and you'll see the previous temperatures that I had set. It's easy to change the temperatures. You can just move them up and down in freezer mode on this side. You can see freezer mode is just like a little straight up item. On this one, we have a small indention where the compressor is located that can be set up as the refrigerator. To change the temperatures, it's just very simple, up or down. Now, if you can make this out, this has a max and an eco mode. Let's say that um, you put a lot of um, cans in that hadn't been refrigerated or other items that hadn't been refrigerated and you need to cool them down quickly. I can adjust a test of this. I put this in max mode and uh, it literally brought this unit from, I tested it before, it was at about 78 degrees inside of it uh, and it brought it to the setting temperature in just about 30 to 45 minutes it was very 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 quick now once that's been brought to temperature you want to put it in eco mode and then the uh, compressor will not run as hard and as often because it's not having to keep everything as cold and chilled as you go down the road another feature that i want to show you i'm going to put this back in standby mode that is just turning it off with power on and then this has a, a power saving 
uh, for your battery and uh, I'll show you these settings and then I'll put a chart up so you, that you can see that uh, but you hit these two buttons on the right and you hold them and you'll see the PR light come on and there's three settings uh, there's a, you'll see the three dots um, then you'll see the six dots and then here you will see the nine dots and each one of those have a different power setting. I'm running mine in the three dot mode. On the chart running at 12 volts, if you run this on the high setting, startup will be at 12.4 volts, cut off at 11.1. So if your battery gets to 11.1, it'll cut off. The mid one is it will start this up. The unit won't even start up unless it's running at your batteries at 11.7. And uh, cut off is if your battery power gets down to 10.4, it will cut off automatically. And I'm currently running mine in low at least uh, for a short period of time. Startup will happen at 10.9 uh, and cut off at 9.6. Now, the reason being is sometimes we'll do a long tow and um, I might be uh, getting to the campground and if I'm running my jacks and my slides in and out, I might get just a tad of battery sag uh, and I might go below you know, the 11.7 mark and I want this to still run. As soon as I quit running the slides or the jack, then um, I'll come back up to you know 12.6 or something like that, 12.4, 12.5, whatever my batteries are currently at. At least that's what it seems to be so far. Okay, we're going to mount this set power portable refrigerator here in our bay that we have uh, here in the fifth wheel. Uh, one of the things I've done is I've got this aluminum tubing. I've made me uh, just some little supports. I've got to, here I'll show you, I've got to raise this uh, by a, an inch. Uh, so that the tray will slide out. So uh, I'm going to be putting these in here and I'll just show you how I'm going to do that. Now one of the things I'm finding out is this is not square to this and I don't want this thing coming in at an angle. So I'm going to make it square to the front of the fifth wheel and get that nice and tight. And you can see I made a, a I don't know if you can tell, I made a large hole. If uh, these are showing up, a large hole where I can use these screws uh, it's kind of like a pan head screw. And um, I made a large hole here to where my bit will fit down inside of it and then just a small hole on the other side. So it's pretty, pretty simple setup. see these little dots that I put here this is going to match with the holes that's back here I didn't want when I put the mounting screws in I didn't want that to interfere with the holes I'm putting here Look at that. Perfect.
we go. Installing the rack didn't take very, very long at all. I did have to beef the bottom up a little bit with some one inch square tubing just to get the height up. Um, but again, if you were be mounting this in a van or something like that, you might not have to do it, but that's just so I could get over this lip. I did talk about the power consumption of this unit. When running, it's only drawing 60 watts, which is very, very low. And again, uh, once you get everything cold and in an eco mode, uh, that compressor is going to be cutting off and on, off and on over a period of time. So it's not 60 watts continuous. So it's a very, very low power consumption. I think this is going to be a great addition. Uh, you can see here, I uh, have it where I can just mount it in here and of course close my door. And then when we want a beverage, uh, we can just open her up, you know, unzip it and uh, lift it up and it'll be ready to go. So we're going to keep the blanket on it for now and just see if that helps improve. Uh, I will be uh, adding a 48 volt connection in here very, very soon uh, so we can pull off the house batteries when we're traveling and of course when we're pulled over uh, we'll still have things that'll be cool in here when we're not uh, connected to shore power. So I think this thing is absolutely great. I'm looking forward to using it. Uh, we are uh, headed to Florida by the time you see this. So we'll get to try some August heat and uh, see how this is going to behave with the doors closed and those types of things. So I think that'll be interesting. And then we're heading back up into the mountains going into some other areas that uh, we haven't been this year. So we're looking forward to being able to do that. I'd like to thank Set Power for providing this unit. It's a very, very nice unit for us to be able to evaluate. Uh, this is what they call their RV series. They have two other series that you can check out. I will put links in the YouTube description today as well as uh, if you go out to I Love RV Life and look at uh, the blog for today. I'll have links on that as well. You can purchase this off Amazon and they have again a number of different models for a number of different applications. Again this is a dual zone 45 quart. I think that we're going to be able to use it both as a freezer when we need the opportunity, but I think most of the time it will be a refrigerator. And then I just love the slide out rack. Uh, this just makes it so much easier, not only to be able to gain access to the unit, but as we're you know loading, loading things into the bay, I can pull this out and I've got plenty of room to be able to work back there. So that's gonna be nice as well. Again, thank you Set Power for being able to provide this unit. Uh, I will be putting a 12 volt accessory jack. We're out on the road right now, headed to Florida. Uh, so this is going to get some heat on it. We're going to see how it's going to behave during that period of time and then we're back up in the mountains again. So again, thank you Set Power for this evaluation unit and you can find links at I Love RV Life as well as the description. So thanks again. Love doing these reviews for you guys because that's right. I love RV Life. Well, let me give you an update on our first trip using the new Set Power portable refrigerator. It has worked great. Uh, you see us here kind of in travel mode. You see just all the junk that we haul in here. And the slide out has been perfect. Here's a little bit of a close up. So you can see how I got up over this lip here. There's that aluminum tubing that I put under here. And then, you know, it's just a, a, just simply a finger to open this up. I am running this on AC power. And here's the interesting thing. Um, on AC power, we just did a six hour drive down to Florida, down to the beach, and it was hot, <laughs> sun beating on the side of the camper and all. Of course, you know, you're not, it shouldn't get too hot in here, but again, this had no power on it. And when I turned it on, when we got here, it was 44 degrees inside. Uh, the cover I think is helping out tremendously. Uh, I'm real pleased with that. Um, not a hassle to use. Here you go. You can see we've got we, we've got this in refrigerator mode only now. It's just full of beverages for our travels. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's 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 a good time uh, to be able to be with Jerry and Joan. But uh, there you go. It's the Set Power portable refrigerator. I am thrilled with it. When we're here, I just uh, you know it just takes a minute just to zip it both sides. The nice thing is sliding this out too. You can see all of our chairs and stuff that we have in here, just, you know, full of just what I call travel stuff. 
and uh, it's easy to pull out you know it's it doesn't block our way and then literally with one one finger you can put it in place wow this set power portable refrigerator and we will be going probably to 12 volt I've got another little project that you'll be seeing it in conjunction with another product that I'm going to be evaluating here soon but this is awesome this is just absolutely awesome I, I, I really like this mm -hmm.